this is the final space. This is the lounge room. I just want to say how wonderful it has been to be here in this space that I've spent a lot of time in over the years doing advertising shoots. You can hear shoots going on over there. It's just all happening with kids and everything. Um, to be invited back and to be able to help Daylight and Doug and the team down here to make a space or two spaces for their clients and people that come into this space to feel comfortable, welcome and like they really want to actually hang out here. So I think we've created that. We've turned two empty spaces, two very bare spaces that were quite on the cool side to tie in with the rest of this um, industrial sort of flavour of the building but we've warmed it up. So come in, i show you. All right, so this is the lounge. And literally, it feels like a lounge. That was intentional. Part of this brief was to not build anything. Um, so not build shelving units and have things that couldn't be moved. It needed to be quite transportable. So that was part of the brief, very important. And that's what we've done. Rather than build something here and put shelving and what have you, these guys are all portable and they can be moved. They're all on posters. I just keep saying posters, but they're casters actually. So these can be moved around the whole studio if they really want to. These are just really um, gorgeous little um, items from Kmart. I've just gone in really uh, non-expensive, uh, but they look really effective. Nice wood balanced with dark accents. Cutlery, beautiful crockery, came up, fabulous. I love this fleck on the crockery. And we've got all of the bowls and the plates and stuff here as well. This little guy is just, I saw her, um, and I thought that's kind of cool because it's these sorts of little, um, little details that kind of make everything feel quite homely and soften everything up. Of course, greenery. Come over here. This beautiful big mirror pumps in light and the shape of it is just such a lovely soft shape that really adds to, I guess, the style of this room. So the whole of the studio is industrial. It's um, very cool, concrete on the floor. And we really needed to add some texture and some warmth in here. Rug, absolutely. So this rug adds colour without going over the top with the colour. We've got a little bit of mustard in there, we've got accents of dark, we've got grey as well. So tonally everything works. And this is, um, these are the chairs from Ikea, which actually carry through to the other space as well. So we've got seven and they're all individual chairs. The reason for that, that we didn't go for a couch is because COVID, we can actually space, or daylight can actually space these out if they need to. Coffee tables, of course, need that. Laptop working, da, 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 da. And again, I've chosen round ones in here because I just really needed to be able to soften and add some um, curves and some softness into the space. Right, a couple of wooden chairs. These are Kmart, again. So, I guess the, the, the flavour here is that, or the idea here is that you don't need to be spending a lot of money to be um, making something look really great. Greenery, so we've done a lot of greenery everywhere and it's all fake. Um, and this guy here is such a, I mean, it's a perfect lab for this space, but it just adds a little bit of um, drama, dare I say, for this black wall. The black wall was intentional. Now, in fact, this wall, if you remember, this room rather, didn't have those two walls there. They were built. This wall was actually built as well. And I asked them specifically to paint it a dark colour so that when you walk in through the front entrance, you see that wall, you see these things dressed this way, and it just makes you want to come in here straight away. Um, adding a light, a light colour on a dark wall and then greenery is perfect. Is these guys are actually from Kmart, I remember. 
which just kind of, you know, against the black, they just really break things up. So it's those little details that can really help make a space, quite frankly. Cushions, a couple of beautiful cushions. Again, they're not expensive. None of this space we've gone over the top with, um, with uh, designer brands, not at all. It's not the job for that. It was never going to be part of that brief. We've really um, made the most of every dollar. We've actually um, used the budget to actually create two spaces. And I think they married really well. I just feel like we've done an amazing job. Okay. So, I am finished for the day. The team have been amazing. Thank you to Sally Bramble and the Bramble Effect for providing such amazing crew. For Doug from Daylight, to, for ringing me to say, can you help me create this space, Tony? I feel really grateful I've known Doug and the crew at Daylight for 15 years. I've been producing advertising campaigns here. And to be back here in this space to actually um, be here in a different um, role actually creating and designing and styling for them has been a really really very special thing to be able to do so thank you for watching reimagine do not forget to subscribe and to follow all of the other shows that we do um, and the projects that we load on there and the wonderful people and the places that we bring you Part of the very glamorous life of interior design and styling is cleaning. So all of these things, they've actually been um, at the studio since before lockdown. These guys here, they're assembled directly here by the client. And so they're dusty and all sorts of things. Now what I would never do, because I'm a clean freak, is leave this dust here. So we're going to clean. I always use the microfiber and co. And the reason I use co um, is because A, it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell really bleachy or too overpowering. B, it's got no nasties in it. So I'm mad for it and it cleans everything and it disinfects. It's really good stuff. So it's that. Not a paid endorsement, just a really good smear free finish. And I would use on glass, use it on wood. I practically use it on all of this sort of stuff and it just comes up really well. So cleaning, 